Hello YouTube, Crazy American Prepper here today. Today we're going to talk about bug out bags. Now I've got my bug out bag here and I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek into what I carry in my bag. So you guys stay tuned and uh, we'll get started. This is my hiking backpack and I use this as my B.O.B. Now the reason why I use a hiking backpack is because it's more comfortable on the shoulders, pad, the padding and everything. The design of this bag is, is designed to hold weight at the same time being comfortable to the body. So that's why I went from a tactical bag to more of a hiking pack. So this is a Teton Sports Explorer 4000 and I got this on Amazon for $160. So. I'll leave a link down below in the description. You guys could check out that this bag too. It comes in two different colors. It comes in the silver and it comes in the blue. So but let's get started with things that I carry in my bag. Right here in the front, it's my tent. This is a two-person tent. Um, it's got the poles inside, the stakes, and everything like that. It's all wrapped up, rolled up here. Just clips on the front. And I mean, that's nothing else to say about that. And something else that I've got are some eating utensils that I've made. I just went to the Dollar General store, bought the spoon and fork, and cut the uh, handle off about halfway down, wrapped them in paracord, left a loop at the top, put them on a carabiner, and here we go. I can clip and go. So, in front of my bag, inside this little mesh pouch, I've got a all-weather notebook and a pen. I got a rain poncho, and that's it for that. Now on this side, I've got two pouches. Now these zipper pouches right here, the zipper is waterproof. It's like a, it's got some rubber on there. It, it is waterproof. I poured water on it to check it out myself. Uh, let's get inside here and see what I got. Here I got some walkie talkies, and they have rechargeable batteries in those or you could just put regular batteries, either way. I've got a cigar, and a cigar could be used for many different things. Um, I'll preferably use it for transferring a fire. And it'll probably last, stay lit for about four hours. The next thing I got is a little tin here, and I've got some homemade cotton balls soaked in Vaseline for fire tender. We've got a fire steel rod here that I put paracord runner to hold it a little easier and there's a big lighter in there so that's just I like to have things to make fire on me all the time I don't want to be left in the dark very fun on this bag oh I got another lighter can never have enough of those I'll just put that lighter back in there okay in the bottom pouch Alright, I've got a Sawyer mini water filter, so I even got the plunger and everything to clean it. I took it out of the case that came in and I just kept the instructions and um, so there's that. I got some water purification tablets. Let's see, I got the uh, the Coleman water purification tablets. And another lighter, and that's all I got inside that one. Now up here, it's got a a slide through behind these two pouches, and it's two pouches. What that was designed for, since this is a hiking backpack, is for your trekking poles or uh, your ice picks or whatnot. I'm not using those. I use it to put my Grayman knife. Now this is a Grayman 
Mega Pounder 9. It's got a single bevel edge, quarter inch thick, 1095 steel, and two inches wide. So and I think this is 15 inches long. So this isn't just a regular knife. This is my chopping knife. I mean my machete. But that yet again it's still easy to do the small tasks. So and it came with a Kodura sheath with a piece of Kydex inside. Nice, nice, nice. I'll leave a link down in the bottom for all these items that I have. If you want to go check them out yourself, like the Grayman knife and the Sawyer and the, the backpack so far. A lot of this other stuff just came from, you know, Walmarts or whatever. So, let's go to this top. On the very top, I've got a zipper pouch on top right here and inside of that I've got another black case and in that case I've got more fire starting stuff I've got more cotton balls and Vaseline some waterproof matches I've got a fire steel rod again and I've got my scraper that I made for it now this scraper I made it myself it's a piece of hacksaw blade that I've cut down wrapped in paracord and it works really good and there's another big lighter. So, you zip that up. I'd like to have something for making fires in every pouch of can. Um, I've got this flashlight in one, and I've got some paracord. This flashlight is nothing compared to this flashlight. This is my old light, and I will be having a review on this flashlight soon. This is my old flashlight. I just throw that. Away. And that's all I got in the top. So now what we'll do is we'll go inside and. On the inside, now inside the lid, there's another zipper. We'll go into this zipper, take a look at what I got in there. Now, yeah, it's a little makeup case, but let's see what I use it for. What I did is when I bought this at the Dollar Tree, I removed the makeup, gave it away. I can't remember what I did, threw it away or whatnot. But it's got a mirror in there. That mirror is pretty good to use, so that could be useful for something, or I could gather things in this little case. I could also use it to signal if I needed to. Got some Carmex. Right. We've got some batteries, some triple A's. So use those for the walkie talkies. I've got some binoculars. So, 10 by 25. Nothing special about these. They work and I'll use them. I've got a headlamp here with some red, all three. This is just a cheap headlamp from Walmart, it's an Energizer. That takes some AAAs too, I believe so. And here's some hygiene. I've got my toothbrush and some toothpaste. my first aid kit. And there's my first aid kit. In my first aid kit I've got, I mean, I've got a survival rescue blanket, scissors, tape, I've got some hand sanitizer, gauze, bandages, some gloves, neosporin, i got a snake bite kit. Actually I've got two survival blankets in here and I've got other ointments and whatnot. I do keep this updated. I go through it every six months and make sure that everything's up to date. So. And that is it for the inside here. Now we will go to the other side. In this top pouch I've got some pine fire fatwood. 
I'll leave a link in the description for the fatwood. But very good stuff. Easily starts starts playing. And of course, I've got another lighter. Now on the side of this bag, I've got two drink holders on the side of the mesh. And on this side, I just got my hip knife stuck to it. This is the Camilla Soar. Very good knife. I'll leave a link in the description for this knife too. It also has a G10 handle. Feels really good, weighted really good. So, I believe that's it. Ah, one more thing I've got. I've got a magnifying glass. Good to start fires or Maybe try and use it to boil some water, that would take a long time, but you could do it sanitize water or purify the water. And that's it on the side. Now let's go inside. I don't have my clothes in my bag right now that I would have in here because I'm in the middle of it's the springtime, summer's fixing to pop up on us, so I'm going to retake out the winter clothes I have in here and put some summer clothes in. I didn't take my hand warmers out. So I need to get those out of there, but I might keep those in there anyway. Some extra Ziploc bag. And I'll leave a link in the description for this too. This is uh, a UST Ultimate Survival Technologies Emergency Food Ration Bars. There's 2,400 calories in these. So it's got a five year shelf life. This is apple cinnamon. And uh, we will find out how that tastes one day. Hopefully we don't, but that's why we prepare. Oh, this is another thing I keep in here. You guys leave your comments on what you think about this idea. This is a takedown bow. No, this is a child's bow, but I've noticed one thing. It works really well for my bag. You just Clip it in here, clip the other end down here. Here's the bow line that came with it. You just lap it here. And then I turn it upside down. Let me see if I can do this right. Step inside, break it over. And there's the bow. So you can do it left-handed or right-handed or left-handed. But that might help to get some small game. You might get lucky and get some big game with that. You'd have to be pretty close, but either way, that's better than nothing. Well, I've got some TP. Gotta add that. Get into the cook stuff. I've got a cook pot here. So, this is a stainless steel cook pot. Now, when this compression sack is what my sleeping bag was in, but uh, since my sleeping bag, I, I got a sleeping bag compartment down here, I'm not going to use this compression sack for that. What I use my compression sack for now is a little miniature pillow. I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys. I keep a little miniature pillow and I've got a little fleece blanket that I keep in here also. Get this bow before it falls off. Here's a little fleece blanket. I'm 6'1", so that's be perfect for me. But there's that. And the pillowcase I made myself. So here's my pillow. I just made it some ink. I just did some silk screening myself on there. 
I actually used an old t-shirt of mine and that's why I've got the uh, logos on here that so but there's a pillow nice little pillow there and then there's a sack I could use for whatever here I've got some long long uh, tube socks this bag I made some salt sticks or some seasoning sticks out of some straws and just melt the ends and keep them all in there I've got salt sugar other different seasonings oil whatnot here's a fuel canister I've got this is a four season mix and it will heat up, or I use it to, on my pocket stove. And here's my little Espit cook stove. It's just a small one. But inside it, I've got my little mini pocket stove. If you've never seen one of these, this is a cheap one on eBay. But there it is. I mean, you see how small that is folds out and put your pot right on top of that. Just connect this on top of that and there you go. And of course I got some more weatherproof matches, more fire starter. I've got a uh, uh, can opener here. So little military can opener I've got I think this is the P35 I can't remember which one it is but I got that I got another lighter in there so put that lid back on let me set that there for now and that's all I got in this pouch I think that's it for the inside of the bag. So, what I'm going to do is move some of this stuff out of the way. And I will show you other spots on this bag. Move all this stuff. I'll just throw this all in here for now. I'll go through it again later. Here is the back side of the bag. And then right here I've got a uh, whistle, a compass, and a magnifying glass. Which is harder to get out than each, but that's why I got the bigger one. And it's also got a thermometer gauge. So I also have drinking container there it is this holds 970 milliliters right there right here's the torso you can adjust it for a medium large or extra large person you can adjust your shoulder pads here to the torso length so that's that's a good feature to have makes it very comfortable it has got a unique airflow system on here that does work pretty good. It's got the uh, straps up here to adjust your your pads here on the side. Now the padding on this is very thick. Down here on your waist, the waist has got probably one inch thick pads. So, on the very bottom, right here, it's upside down, but it's a rain cover for this bag. It's very hard to get into. It's just Velcroed in there. And 
comes with the bag when you order the bag. And it's attached by a little piece of bungee. You just whip it out. It starts to rain. Whip that thing out. This will fit over your bag. Now mind you, if you have the tent, like I have the tent on mine, once you have the tent on there, it will not cover the bag. It won't fit completely. So, um, I'd probably put this over the bag and then strap this on over the, the bag. So, that's the ring cover. And I think that's pretty much it of this bag. So, other than the, the compartment for my, my tent, which I guess I'll go ahead and get that out. Let you see that too. There's my tent. All right, and here is our the sleeping bag compartment is. Just unzip that, pop that open. And out comes the sleeping bag. And this isn't just a little sleeping bag, it's a pretty big sleeping bag. Pretty spacious in here. Um, one of the cool things about this bag too is if you didn't want to use this as your sleeping bag compartment and you wanted to use it as part of your main compartment, it's got a zipper separator right here. The fat piece of fabric with two zippers in here and it separates the sleeping bag compartment from the main compartment. If you just want to use this to put your boots in, keep it separate, you could do that too if they're wet, muddy, whatnot. Or if you wanted to have one main compartment, one big compartment, you can unzip this flap side here. And uh, there's all your stuff that was inside your main compartment. So that's a cool feature that this bag has. And why I like it so much. And of course it's got straps everywhere. I've got loops here. And I've got straps on the very top of the bag. And I, strap, I can strap more stuff too, like a, I don't know, a sleeping pad or something like that. So. This is my bug out bag review. This is what I carry on me. This is what I have. I do have a few other things I just don't have in here. Um, I got them out right now, but uh, there's one more thing I do have. I always keep it on me, and that's a Leatherman Wave, my multi tool. So, you guys just uh, take a look down at the description below. I'll leave the links to some of these things that you can check them out yourselves. and. Um, thanks for watching.